Hey folks, welcome back, Thunderballs here, 3.23 EPTU, let's see what we can get into, eh? So, um, I have not been in here, I loaded it up earlier, I got as far as uh, the next step, which had opened up the character creation screen, and I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go through this, I'm going to wait until I do a stream, so... Apart from having a look at the very first screen of the character creation, I've not gone any further. So let's see what it is, eh? Let's let's go create a character. So we've got this Biotecorp uh, logo when we first join in. So obviously this is our uh, character creation screen. Uh, I will get rid of that stupid QR code in just a moment. So let's... Oh, my logo is covering it anyway. Let's be a chick, eh? We'll, we'll, we'll keep going for a chick. Uh, G'day, Harbringer. How you doing, mate? Uh, so, body type. Okay, so that's just the female. All right, that's cool. Uh, let's spin around. What sort of hair have we got? We want long hair. So we, we, can, we can be a chick with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think, eh? Chick with a goatee? Full beard? Uh, no, we don't want a beard. But we do want long hair. So do we have more options? Yes, we do. We have heaps more options. We've got... i got to remember. Right mouse button to twist it around. Okay. What else have we got? What have we got? Bit of uh, short haired, more long hair, kind of. Uh, no, thank you. All right, so we can go. We can go an afro. I do not want to go an afro. <laughs> well, we could have some fun with this. This, this kind of looks like the, the the hairstyle that I kind of have at the moment, or maybe this one, or like me personally. As a guy, but as a chick in the game, we're going to go with long hair. Now, do we want the ponytail? Or I don't like the bob. I hated the bob when my wife had it, and she no longer has a bob. I hate it. Or do we go with the hair out? I think I might stick with the ponytail. I'll stick with ponytail. Ponytail cool. Or bun. Buns are all right, um, as long as it's not a man bun. I do not like man buns. <laughs> you you have an issue with authority, eh? Respect the authority. Uh, ponytail, bun, ponytail. We'll go. We'll, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go with the ponytail, eh? Eyebrows. What can we do with eyebrows? Uh, oh. <laughs> we, we, we can go no no eyebrows. <laughs> uh, is there a monobrow? No, no monobrow. So there's not many options for eyebrows. Uh, we'll go the thin ones, eh? We'll go the thin ones. And what's this? Natural colour and dye colour. Okay, so this is where we can get some accents going. Everybody says they're innocent, mate. You've, you've, you've watched the Shawshank Redemption. They're all innocent. They're all innocent. Now, I think I'm going to go natural color of red with some natural, very natural bond, dye our roots. Whoa. Okay. We, 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 we can go an old chick. Oh, we could we could make we could make what's her face? Um um um, um oh, the the hot queen chick from Game of Thrones. Uh, what's her name? Um um the 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 Daenerys. Daenerys. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Daenerys. Let, let's see. Let's see what we can do with Daenerys, eh? Dye the roots. Yeah, we're gonna go. 
Maybe they're full white. Let's go Demir. Uh, Die gradient. Okay, so if we were to go like purple, the gradient. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, let's see what it's doing there. More die, less die. I'm going to go like a little foxtail. Just uh, dip the tip in. Yeah, Daenerys Targaryen. Targaryen, yeah. Um, oh, we can even die off eyebrows. Wait, what? Facial hair. I want white facial hair. Uh, Uh, okay, so you got natural color, dye color, root dye color, tip dye color. Okay. All right. Eyebrows. Why? Why when I go to eyebrows, is it changing to the other one? Eyebrows. It's not doing anything for eyebrows. Hmm. Ah, okay, maybe we go eyebrows. Maybe we've got to do this. So, hair color, white. Eyebrow color, eyebrow color, white. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, Stormy. Flames on HQ Holden. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, does Daenerys actually have white eyebrows? I can't remember. But we're going white. I'm going to go white. Um, let's save it. Uh, let's go with Maris. Where's the save? So we've got delete, import, export. No saves available, please use your character. Okay, so that just adds an, you can add an extra line there. Narrows. Uh, okay, let's export it. I don't know where it went, but it's gone. So, okay. Um, DNA. So we can just go and do some random blendings. Are we actually doing anything? Oh yeah, okay, that's doing some stuff. Hey Derek, how's it going? Oh mate, you, you probably spend a lot of time on on just creating your character. So we got eyes, lips, cheeks, advanced. Okay, I I want to get rid of the damn freckles. Here we go, freckles. Bugger off. We don't want freckles. We don't want sunspots either. Go away. No sunspots. We want ourselves to have fresh skin. Nice fresh skin. Just tell the guests that you're busy. Okay. Um, so, um, mm, mm, mm. so we can obviously all these little pointers, like we can give it big eyes, little eyes. Whoa, we can turn it into an elf. We want to make this chick somewhat good. No, we don't want to, you know, so let's get rid of that nose. Bit more chinny. We want more chin. More chin. More chin. So this sculpting is not like it doesn't exactly move exactly where you're moving it, but it's fairly accurate, I guess. Um, so I can give her a broken nose. Keep it centered. Don't need a bridge. Get rid of that bridge. Uh, 
<laughs> Stormy. <laughs> My first character in WoW technically was an orc warrior, a male orc warrior. He was green, just like being an orc. Um, and his name was, um, what was it? Gwag, I think. Because my dad had Grug, and I went Gwag. So, yeah. Um, let's see if her, nope, no, we don't want her to look like she's, oh, yeah, so well, she could look like she's stoned. Um, what's this one do? A bit older. Yeah. Alright, where do we get rid of the makeup? Pictures, cheeks, lips, eyes. Okay, advanced makeup. No makeup, we're going natural. Uh, cheeks. Yep, yeah, all natural. Let's get rid of it. No cheeks. But what options do we have? We got. Whoa, pasty. Give us some rosy red cheeks. What's, what's this three? What are you doing over there? I don't know. I am not going to spend too much time on this because I could spend forever on it. Um, so. Looks kind of old. She doesn't look like Targaryen at all, apart from the white hair. Eh, that'll do. And we're going to skip tutorial. Obviously, we don't have Pyro or anything. Oh, right. when when 3.23 actually comes out, I will probably spend quite a fair bit of time actually making a, a, a decent looking character. Uh, and I will, uh, let's start off at, uh, no, every 18 sucks. Um, do I want to go new Babbage? No, I'm going to go Orison because I like to stay above. No, screw it. I'm going to go Lawville. I've never had a hometown of Lawville before. So I'm going to go Lawville. And obviously we can't go Oz, so I'm just going to go best and play. Confirm. It'd be nice. Like it'd be good if you could be like you know, change your body size as well. So you know you can you know, uh, be a chunky guy or a thin guy or tall or short or you know uh, muscly or not muscly, a fat bastard like me. You know, hot chick, big tits, that boobs, breasts, yeah, you know, flat chest, A cup, B cup, whatever. Um, but yeah. Uh, more than a mouthful is too much, but anyway, um, that sort of thing would be nice, but it's not really that big of an issue, I think. Um, it'll add a bit more variety on what you see out in the verse, but then that would also come with difficulties on having the armor fit the different combinations of sizes and things like that so unless they can make the armor mold to the body somehow i, I think keeping the that's why they kept it just you know one size and you can tweak a few things here and there but yeah i think i think the armor factor would be a, a big issue looking forward to seeing the new star map can't wait to see that um, I've, I've heard a few things that have come out of Evocati where some of the labels of the places is hard to see, um, but they are working towards or have been working towards getting that fixed and looking better. So I need to turn my air conditioner down because I'm getting cold. I'll actually go off now for a bit. So... Reloading. Um, engineering's in the game. In the ooh, that looks different. New UI. I can see we've got the map. 
up the top right we've got new pop-ups that looks completely different um, little loading bar there to accept and decline hmm. we've even got the compass or the uh, what do you call it you it's not a compass it's like your trajectory I guess up the top let's go and get rid of some of these things out of the way uh, no hints, no hints, no. Let's go down to the bottom and get rid of the. Where is it? Uh, where is the damn QR code? Put it all the way down the bottom in the first one here. And the graphics, was it? Yep, there it was. Get rid of that. All right, so what do we got? Volumetric clouds. Um, hmm, go reference. We'll see what that does. Hi, hi, hi. Ooh, water sim. Yes. Hi, very hi. Yeah, let's do that. HDR is not available for me at the moment because so I'm using a TV. So everything else will be fine there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Audio, that's my normal stuff. Keybinds, I'll have to have a look at whether my sticks are all set up. I'm pretty sure I copied that over. But, uh, pressing I for inventory, we, we still have our inventory. So, I thought they were getting rid of that. But, that might not be a, a yet to happen thing. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is my load yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure about the, like, the, the double vision that's going on there. It looks a, it's hurting my eyes. <laughs> um, some people said the water looks like jello. Interesting. I will definitely check that out. Um, so let's get out of here. Definitely looks all fancy. Come on, get out. Exit. Okay, exit that. But the minimap looks pretty cool. Um, definitely reminds me of like some of the, the shows where you see people hacking into places to get schematics of buildings and things like that. Yes. I don't have to click it. I just have to press F. That is cool. Look at it. And an elevator called. Hey! That is handy. Uh, down the bottom right, we've got our number four. Is that Why is number four our med pen? I don't like that. Uh, our, our med, it's called, yeah, med pen. Uh, grenade, obviously, is G. B for fire mode. Um, so we still have to press and hold F to do the ground floor, though, to select our thing owned. Ah, uh, still puts it away. That's good. Alrighty. So, let's go over to the spaceport. They look different. Um, so, what have we got? HPA is that 826? Minus 18 degrees. We're using up 100% of our oxygen by the look of Oh, that's what I wanted to check out. If we bring up the map. Ooh, okay. Moby Glass. Uh, so, vehicle information. Ooh, we can go and check out our loadouts right from here. Ooh, now that's cool. No missions being tracked. Notifications. Reputation. Crime stat. We've got one gravity. Pressure. Okay, so that's like your yeah, barometric pressure. Yeah, med pen should be C. I don't like that. That's weird. Radiation. I've got 15.15 million credits. 
Oh, nice. Um, but why is it that it's so far over to the side there? I don't like it's off centered. It's doing my head in. I can't. Pressing F just gets rid of it. Weird. Uh, okay, so we've got health, body temp, heart rate, fuel, oxygen, health tab. Just got rid of it. Oms. Okay, that looks the same as what it used to. Contracts. Obviously a bit different, but still within the same sort of... Ooh, okay, so now it's like a tiered drop down now. Okay. Mercenary. Hold arms. Let's grab that. Always handy to have a that. Ah, cool. We can minimize that too. It's helpful. Okay, um map. Now, what we can do on this is we can set our location and everything that we want to go to. So there, I guess they're the hubs. Um, you know, if we want to go to the spaceport um, and that marker data rink. See that doing anything? We should be able to set locations as to where to uh like a navigation point so maybe where i am over there yeah, it's kind of cool it's 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 different it's different to experience it yourself though even, even though well you know we've all probably seen bits and pieces on um the leaks and, and whatnot, and um, like I know there's a whole the, the pipeline Discord and all that, yep. um, but it, it's still something that's pretty cool to see for yourself. So, it's what okay, so yeah, that's customs. Yeah, how do I set a point? I want to get there. doesn't do anything here. There's, I can't really work. Well, okay. Ah, oh, that's where you can zoom all the way out. Ooh, very cool. And I think if we go... Click on that. No markers. Okay, well, I want to make a marker. And then... How do I get back to the soft? Well, there was a jurisdiction, A class incidents, routing not available. Ah, that button there gets me back to me. Yeah, leaks are, leaks are somewhat good but bad at the same time. Like, seeing them is cool, but experiencing them for yourself first is. Cool, I reckon. Okay, I'm going to get out of that. So we've got our journal assets. So I think this is like your knickknacks thing. So, uh, yeah, that's all my crap that I've got. Reputation. Obviously, we'll have nothing. Wallet is trading. So that's your Mo Trader. Landing is your refueling and stuff, and vehicles is your loadout. Cool. Okay, so we just come out of there, and I'm just going to go and find my own way. So I roughly know the way. So we'll head to the spaceport, grab a ship, and we'll go check out um, some other things. Um, I believe the A2 specifically has engineering on it. I'm checking that out. Um, 
seeing if we can find some animals. Go find some animals. I wonder if there's actually any um, contracts for those at the moment, because they weren't working previously. Well, I guess that's it for you, mate. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by anyway, Tag. Um, hopefully you'll get uh, get to pop back in again at some point. Cargo retrieval. Analogy claims. Uh, racing via research. Searching a bounty hunter. It's just the trackers. Investigation. Oops, let's get out of here before I go for another ride. No worries, tagged. Have a good one. And um, where were we? Contracts. Missing persons. Investigator, missing persons. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's. Okay, so we got uninitialized. Free up uninitialized. Delivery pilot. Okay, so there's a few weird. weird quests going on here. Contracts. Okay. I'm going to do something for 15k, but I don't know what I've got to do. Just get 15k. Let's uh, go back to the spaceport. Oh, can we ping in here? Yeah, the joystick's still working. It's good. So we've got a we've got to get a chip delivered. I'm just going to grab something small. Actually, no, I'm going to grab something large. F to use. Welcome to the ASOS. So that I can transfer all my crap from here up to Everest Harbour. There we go. Uh, so let's grab the C2. Hangar 5. They're also used to pressing and holding the F and clicking on things, but I don't have to do that completely. Alrighty. Hello, Mr. Ship. So the, uh, the labels on the ship are a lot easier to read, you know? The pins for those. Cool. Inside. Elevator. Come down. You press F. Whoa. Okay. Find it glitched a bit. Right, top deck. What if I don't want to go to the top deck? Okay. Select item. Lower deck. Okay. That's cool. Top deck it is. So pressing and holding F gives you that different uh, sort of radial type thing where you can select the different levels, I guess. Um, you don't have a mouse cursor, but it's sort of, as you're moving your mouse around, there's like a bit of a line that's going around. Do little circles. Yep. Anyway, nope, I've been locked in. Let me out. Thank you. Okay, um, so engineering, I think, is down here. It's recreation, or is no, it's in here. Uh, 
that's not engineering. Nah, that's not engineering. Just components. That is also components. Ooh. It's different. Okay. Ah, there's the engineering. RC status low power. Well, that's because the ship's not on. Okay. Yeah. Access this one? No. But looking at the mini map, we can see. Orange bits look like the guns and stuff on the outside. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And to the pilot seat. Uh, it's so much easier just being able to press F. Alright, let's see if my sticks work. No, they do not. Okay. Put them on So it sounds like it did load up, it just took its time. Keyboard as well, just in case. I'm not using that today. But we'll get that there anyway. That is escape not getting it out of my menu. Sticks, engine, pump. Oh. Aha! Alright, let's see if everything's around the right way. Up! Backwards. Backwards. Forwards. Roll. Yeah, left. Alright. Pitch up. Leg off. Pitch up. Pitch down. Turn left, turn right. Yep, straight right, straight left. The only thing that's not working is forwards and backwards. Okay, not a big issue. We can fix that up. Key bindings, advanced, light movement, vertas, light movement. And we want pitch your roll. Oh no, that's left and right. No, don't want to do that. Ground vehicle movement, drive forward, back EVA, or forward. Yes. Okay. That out. Escape doesn't get you out of the menu. Forwards? Backwards. Forwards? Okay, so we need to invert forwards and backwards. Which is under controls. Rotas 2, I think that one is. Invert, flight, movement, longitudinal. Let's see if that works. Forwards. Backwards. Right. Okay, so that invert by pitch. Okay, so I got the wrong stick. Controls. Rotats one. Inversion. Moment. No. Rotats two. Inversion. I think I did the wrong one. 
Agua. Straight up and down that one and amplitude and all. Let's try again. Up. Boost. Boards. Yay, we're good. Ah, oh, the minimap looks awesome, right? Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Please visit again. Okay, so it looks like all my stick controls are good. This is taking a hit with these clouds. Holy hell. Okay, I think I'm going to have to turn the biometric clouds down. So. I'll just turn them off for now. Ah, that's better. That's a lot smoother. Ah, thanks for the sub, mate. Appreciate it. So, um, what I forgot to do was get all my crap from Blorville. So let's just uh, stop here, get out of the seat, and see if I'm still within range of the local inventory. Which I am not. So our contracts are now up the top right for tracking of contracts instead of dead center. Uh, the ship UI still looks fairly much the same other than the temperature, which is part of the personal UI, I guess. I'm gonna head back down towards the spaceport. into my local inventory. The shaking when you're boosting, that's cool. view. I do like the view of Lawville at night time. It looks awesome. Okay. Let's jump out of my seat. And let's see if I can get my inventory now. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to when they bring out the uh, ship specific MFDs where you can save them for each ship. So, and the layout is exactly how you want it and where you want it and it stays there and it persists through um, storing and destroying your ship and all that sort of that stuff. That is going to be awesome. So I can get my local inventory now. So let's shove all that on the C2, which it all doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to make a couple of trips. Okay. Um, let's just... Uh, yeah, we'll just have to make a couple of trips. Enter the pilot seat. Apparently I can do that from looking away. Excellent. Alright, so I am going to head up to Everest Harbour. So let's go zoomy zoomy. Okay, so we can search for Everest. And then it's over there. Route to Everest. Look, there's our route. And we can see the planet spinning. Interesting. Going to take us one second, apparently. 
that's actually pretty cool if they're going to start telling us how long it's going to take to travel. Because then you know whether you've got enough time to get up and make a cup of coffee or um, go and... Um, is that still doing the wrap? Yep. Okay. Let's get out of the map, please. Why is it not letting me out? Thank you. Um, so, that would be really cool. Quantum's changed. We've now got this yellow marker. Yellowy, orangey. Yeah. Quantum travel within atmosphere. Okay. So that's telling us we can't obviously do it. Uh, that's cool. On the right hand side of the screen, we've now got our quantum travel route required fuel, group leader, members aligned and spooled, all that sort of information is there, that's pretty cool um, where is my altimeter something I'm not seeing do we no longer have an altimeter? We just have to like wait until it tells us that we're not in atmosphere anymore. There we go. Okay, so quantum travel is now online, so we're obviously out of that mode, but I have no idea how high that's gonna be a bit of a pain for when you're trying to do like low flying and stuff. Knowing exactly how far away from the ground you are. Surely there's got to be an altimeter somewhere. Complete. one. See if there's any new menus. Top status shields, heat, comms, weapons, missiles. It's all the same. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where you're supposed to see your height anymore. How high? Like how high off the ground you are? Hmm. Oh, absolutely. Distribution centers. Um, one of the biggest things that I'm looking forward to is the persistent hangar. Um, I will be spending a lot of time inside a persistent hangar. Um, I, want, I want to really test out the freight elevators and do a lot of that. Distribution centers as well. I my um, okay, I'm going really slow as well. Why am I going so slow? Um, I, I am much prefer the um, industrial side of the game as opposed to the PvP fighting, dog fighting and all that sort of stuff. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. Um, yeah, hopefully you, you guys see the, uh, you know, remember all the good things and not, you know, it doesn't always have to be uh, a, a bad thing. Remember, remember all of the, you know, celebrate, celebrate your grandfather's life. Um, that's the way I always look at uh, funerals that I go to. As much you know, as sad as they are, I'm, I'm not not putting anything any doubt into that. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, uh, yeah, I, I like to look at it as a celebration of their life, what they've done, what they've achieved, all that sort of stuff. Um, I. I've just unlocked my ship plots. Let's close again. So why are we going... Okay, I'm confused as to why we're going so freaking slow and my cruise control is not working. So I'm going to have to change some binds here again. Uh, flight power... No, be flight movement probably, I'd say. Movement... Speed limit, I suppose, brakes. 
Quantum uh, travel is fine. I really wish that there was a way that you could search through the damn keybind. That would be helpful. Where is Christopher? The decoupled mode is now set. Oh, I'm, I, I've, I, yeah, Polaris would be nice. Um, I wouldn't be surprised though if the Galaxy comes out first. Um, but the Galaxy, the Apollo, and the Polaris, I definitely think are within the next five ships. I'd say at least definitely all three of those within the next five. Um, is what I'm bringing in. I haven't actually seen any of that info yet myself. Um, so that, that's interesting to hear. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Polaris is a damn good ship. Um, I don't currently have one, but I will have one at some point. Um, I'm in a bit of a, a rebuilding stage at the moment where I had to sell a bunch of ships to get some cash back. And I'm slowly starting to build those back up. I will be getting myself a um, Praetorium pack uh, soonish. I've just got to wait for the funds to come in for that. Um, what I'm doing at the moment is I am building up a collection of CCUs. So basically, as soon as I get the Praetorium pack, it's just upgrade, 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 upgrade to get rid of all the crap that I don't want out of the Praetorium pack, like the Mustangs and the um, Reliance and all that sort of stuff and upgrade those to the ships that I do. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. Uh, I currently have pledged all of the ground vehicles. I've got a ground vehicle pack that has all the Cyclones, the Storms, the Spartan, Ballista, Centurion, the Nova, um, the Ursa, the Lynx. Actually, no, I don't have the Lynx. I need that to be CTU'd. I have an Odyssey, a C1, I think is pledged at the moment. I've got a few. I'll have to, I'll have to do an updated, um, um, what's it called? Fleet Viewer thing. Still want to find out where my bloody. Cruise control is. Let me in view. What mode left? Let's see. Is it, is it now called sticky? No, sticky throttle? Don't know. Uh, pitch. Beetle, config. I'm at a loss for cruise control. They've definitely changed a lot of this around, I reckon. And there's a lot of these weird app things as well. I just. I don't know. Um. But yeah, anyway, I don't know why we're also going so slow. Like we're only doing 160. What's unlocked? it is. I'm going to have to find out some new controls for this, but it seems like we're going very, very slowly. I 
<laughs> uh, you're a funny fella. It's something to do with the new engineering stuff or something like that, because I know that's in. Um, or it could be that I'm, I've got the stock drive and everything in there. But let's just try and get to, get to Everest Harbour. Uh, still got 65. Oh, maybe we can actually quantum close up. No quantum, yeah. Go. That's red. Why is it red? Is it because we're too close? Yeah, the vibration, it's, um, yeah, when, when you boost, it definitely goes a bit, a bit vibrating. Oh, hang on. Ah! The uh, SCM limiter was locked. Now we're going faster. I've lost. lost. Let me spool up quantum anymore. I guess I've got nav mid. Yeah. Look at quantum. We just have it a minute ago. There. there we go. Now I can go faster. What did that? I don't know what did that. Whoa, okay, so that slammed on the brakes. <laughs> so turning quantum off is basically like... Uh, I think this is part of the master modes thing. So there's a bit of a loading bar going under the SCM guns there. Which I would imagine you've got access to our guns. And once that finishes loading, I should then be able to switch back to nav mode, which is when I can go faster. I'm going to tear it point. I'm going to have to read up on these... Um, Master modes, I think. I didn't look into any of that. Now uh, quantum still loading. There we go. So now that that's loaded, I can now go faster. Okay. So that, that I, I think that's got something to do with the. Master modes. So let's call for a. Please proceed to the Thank you. Hang a twelve.
Dear Dell. The, uh, the limiter is really weird on this. Like the limiter is way up high, but it's only letting me go 30. That's not so bad. Easily land at 30. <laughs> RTFM, absolutely. Okay, so I can move to that. What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. Can't roll. Change for pitch. I'm so confused. I can go up and down and forwards and backwards. Strafe. But my other stick is not doing anything. It is working because coupled mode is turning on the off. Wonder, oh, let me have a quick squiz. Oh, I want to see whether the guy that I'm using for his keyboard pins whether he's got an updated one at all. Nope, it's just for 3.22. Okay. What the hell am I going to do this? Is it maybe because landing is down? Let's try it. This signal and thing I going on here. Don't know. But no, still cannot. Hitch. Roll. Yeah, I'm scared. Oh dear. So there's a lot to learn. No worries, California. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I've got some controls to, to relearn here. Um, what I could always do is just try and do an auto land. Oh, that's looking backwards. Auto land. Oh, I can turn now. Okay. Weird. So weird. Lending you down, please. We have touchdown. Cool. Um, let's get all the crap out of the ship. And then I've got to go back down and get the rest of it. Um, but I still need to work out what the hell is going on with my key, uh, with my controls. So let's move all of this over to Everest Harbour. I like to double check because sometimes the inventory doesn't always move, but it does seem to have moved. So let's get back in here. I wonder uh, if there is an option to turn off. Is, I don't know. Is there an option to turn off master modes? Or is that just a permanent thing now?
Whereas that's going to be a big learning curve, a lot of big learning. It's just made the game a lot more complicated. But that's fine. I will sort it out. Into advanced controls. Um, you want light. Speed limiter increase, speed limiter top. Reset for the match to start with velocity, space break. Lock pitch your movement to hold. hold. Okay, so that's probably something that was stopping me from moving around before. Copy, auto land, yes, I'm over here. Landing. Cycle master modes is B. Okay. Let's get that fucker off. Still can't escape out of game settings. Okay, so that's literally just something true. Thank you for that, Stormy. Um, very, um, oops, might need to open the doors first. So I can see, uh, if you can see down my bottom left where I've got the power triangle, it's 50-50 between weapons and system. No, weapons and shields. So there's no power going towards systems. Don't land. Get back up. Oh, that's a bit, uh, bit of frames there. Okay, so. So that is no longer turning quantum on, that is switching between nav modes. Let's go. Hello, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, let's get out of there. All right, so... Quantum travel is online when we've got a... Oh, wow. I can actually see the city from up here. Don't notice that. So do we really need to wait for that to load up completely before we can quantum out? Yeah, well, that's a long spool time, but holy hell. No drama, Stormy. Definitely seems to be a further uh, field of view, not field of view, but um, depth of view, I guess.
Master mode is definitely going to be something to get used to. Now we got guns online. I guess this one can still shoot. But if we swap over to nav mode. Be nice to be able to go into nav mode without having the quantum on though. We just fly so slowly, fly fast. Maybe I'm just impatient. Yeah, so once the quantum drive is spooled, we can go faster. Can change the power. This shake is really, really bad. Cool though. This thing has got some really crappy pitch up and down. New spaceport. Play. The good thing is, I don't need to get out or actually land to get the gear. Local, move all. Are you kidding me? It's going to take more? How much crap have I got? Got my C2, and I still need to do another few trips. One, two, Three. Oh, I got three more pages. Well, three trips it is then. I do like not having to press and hold F. <laughs> Let's now get back out of that one. So I've got all my stuff up to Everest Harbour, I'm going to sort myself out with some gear, get myself suited up, and I'm going to go check out the um, distribution centres, see what they've got going on over there. Might take, uh, take out there. Eric will probably be handy to go out there with. Take a ground view with me. Okay, so I'm in nav mode. And quantum. But do we now not have markers in it? Oh, there they are. There's one of the markers. Okay, so where are you? Everest Harbour. Yes. Okay, so I think I'm slowly getting used to the nav mode and the master modes and all that, so obviously, actually no, we're still going 
Oh yeah, we're still going slow because it's spooling. Once it spools, we can go faster. It does feel a bit annoying. I don't know about you guys, but having to wait for your quantum to cool down to be able to just fly at speed again seems a bit weird I, I might be missing something where I can deactivate that or turn it off or change it or I, don't know. I will investigate that further at the moment so down Please. Wiki Wiki ATC. You're not calling ATC. We need to get out of now. It's already been granted. Where the hell do I have I got to go? Hang at 12. Okay, dead ahead. Go to the other side. Definitely got to get used to the new look and feel of the UI as well. Everything, everything is so different. Really does feel super slow when you've called for a hangar. Warning, you are blocking an active flight bay. Don't tell me that, I'm about to go into my hangar. I wonder if this is a way for them to prevent pad ramming or something. We completely land. Just go. Empty out our inventory. As definitely going across. Yeah, so I've got to remember for next time, if it's not my last time, I don't need to actually call. Hey, hangar, because I'm just dropping gear off. Whoops. Any gear up, please? Okay, so back to nav mode. Is. I do like that Lawville you can actually see from the space station now. All the lights of the city, it looks pretty cool. I really do need to hurry up and fix up the quantum drive in this thing because it takes forever to spool. Go! Yeah. No. Contract available, come see me. No. Yep. 
be sunrise coming up. Yeah, it's so weird going so slow. Well, I think I've worked out what's going on is that the speed is determined by whether the quantum drive has spooled or not. So it's just about to spool and it'll kick in where I can then increase the speed and go faster. After calling for a hangar, it drops your speed down even further. Still, still quoting the specifics of it all, but that seems to be the gist of it. Yeah, I'm not liking it right now because I'm not used to it. But I think once I get used to it and work out the real intricacies of it, I guess, and exactly like how to use it properly, I should be able to work it out more. Okay, so I can just pull out a relay. So engineering seems like it's not quite working in this ship, I guess. Anyway, ah, I didn't get my gear out. Well, that's what I was sort of thinking, like the reducing you down to 30 meters a second after you've called for a hangar, may be a way of getting around the pad rampers. But then Padramas won't be calling for a hangar. So, I don't know. But I will be making another trip back down here. Yeah, different ships would be different. Uh, that's for sure. Couldn't actually see any options to turn off master modes. Entry labels. Like dynamic crosshair, that's another thing that I'm looking forward to. Space brake engages boost. Okay, yeah, I suppose you might slow down really fast. So this is the you go global camera shake. I guess I gotta turn that down to stop that, but well, I don't mind the shake. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> well I'm not gonna try pad roaming when I've got a ship full of gear. Head back up. Harper over there to the left. Oh, 
Come on. Good job, will ya? Certainly not the most maneuverable ship when you're going fast, that's for sure. Go. Okay. Thank you. Quantum travel engaged. So, yeah, so we're in that moment, we're maxed out at doing 160. Once it's pulled up, we can then go faster. I don't know why that's a thing, because I'm in a quantum drive, just using the normal one. Apparently that's what it is, so... I guess I just gotta deal with it. Check it out. Okay, so we will stop there. Get that. Okay, so uh, I can't quite. There's a stupid heart thing. Going to be such a going to be such a dead duck zone if it's pulling up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one more trip hopefully will be enough to get everything up here. Have so much crap. It'll probably also be a lot different when I put a better quantum drive in where it doesn't take so long to spool up. Um, oh, I've just. Okay, this is annoying where you can't go straight back into quantum drive. Gotta wait for it to load up the SCM guns before I can swap back to quantum. And now I'm switch to quantum one. Calibrating it's the spooling that makes forever. Exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm a sitting duck. Yeah. If, if anybody knows if I'm doing something wrong with these master modes, or if they can be disabled, or if it's just because I've got stock drive and everything on here, please let me know. Uh, I'd be glad to take any any help and advice and criticisms. I might actually do while I'm traveling down there. So let's just do a quick Google search. Here, uh, Quantum travel complete. The SCM standard control mode and navigation mode. This is a Reddit post. Um, which was written in Feb, so they may be changed. 
So, master modes divide the ability of ships to fly in the world of Star Citizen into two separate modes, standard control mode and navigation mode. Whenever your ship is turned on, you will always be in exactly one of these modes. SCM mode, max speed without boosters, is limited to the SCM top speed. This is somewhere in the range of 200 to 300 meters per second for most ships. Specific example, Buddy S225, backwards top speed is the same as forward. Boosting in SCM will enable you to temporarily exceed this cap by a few hundred. Example specific IDS 500 forward that is backwards or boost slower. Weapons and shields are available in SCM. Quantum of any sorts is not available. Quantum enforcement devices are only available in SCM, so the ship deploying the QED has to be in SCM for it to work. However, SIG has already said that they're going to change how QEDs work and they don't yet know how that's going to work specifically. Switching from SCM to nav mode, as soon as you press the key to switch the mode, the following will happen at once. Your weapons instantly become unavailable. Your shields collapse. It becomes a, it doesn't appear to be full charge instantly, but it seems to fully decay within a few seconds. 100% of shields energy is stored, is being stored in a buffer that will recharge your shields back faster when you enter SCM from nav mode. This buffer will continue to charge in nav mode until it's full. Your quantum drive will automatically start spool. How long this takes is specific to all drives, which we know about. Uh, quantum drive spooling up will significantly increase your signature. After your quantum drive is fully spooled, you are now in full nav mode. Nav mode. When your quantum drive is spooled, you are, in, you are able to reach your top speed of your ship. New quantum boost feature is available. This is a slower version of quantum travel. This does not require waypoints to use. It works into any direction. Used for jumps from a few hundred kilometers to 30 to 50,000 kilometers. You can stay in quantum boost as long as you have fuel. But at some point you might want to consider using regular quantum travel. It looks like you can engage quantum boost instantly and at all times while you're in full nav mode. You do not need to spool your drive again to engage quantum boost. It remains permanently spooled. As long as you are in nav mode, quantum boost does not require calibration. The warp bubble is a new feature that is essentially a little mini in-game, a little mini game during any quantum jumps, including quantum boost. You need to hold your ship stable during the initial phase of quantum jumps or else you will fall out of the jump. During Q boost and warp bubble will not stabilize so you will need to stabilize manually over the entire boost. And I remember seeing that at Star Citizen, uh, Citizen Con. Specific, the specific stability of the bubble is drive specific. Regular QT is available, requires calibration. During regular QT, the warp bubble will stabilize after a few seconds of manual stabilizing, so you can die AFK just like we can now. Uh, it is unclear whether or not your quantum drive will remain spooled after you completely after you complete a QT riddle. It doesn't remain spooled, it reset. I've found that one out. So then switching from nav mode to SCM mode. As soon as you press the key to switch mode, you will decelerate back to the top speed in SCM from whatever speed you're going, regardless of whether you're in coupled or decoupled. Uh, I am heading towards uh, back down towards Lawville. Um, Stalling. Hopefully, this will be my last trip of all my crap. Uh, so, continuing on, I might move this over to the other screen now. Switching as soon as you press the key, switch back, decelerate. Yep, blah blah blah. Very high deceleration, but you won't black out. The shield buffer will charge shield back up faster than going from zero. This buffer also charges during nav mode. Quantum drive loses its full standard SCM features become available again. The features for nav mode to become available, your quantum drive needs to be successfully spooled up. This means for it to be. That if for any reason your quantum drive is unable to spool, you will be stuck with top speed of SCM, no quantum jumps, restrictions of nav mode, no weapon shields. Wow, okay. But doesn't seem to. It seems to be that that, that is it. That's. 
master modes are a permanent thing for the look of that. Which is fine. Just gotta get used to it. Okay. Alright. Back to the spaceport. Hopefully this will be the last trip. And then I can do some actual interesting stuff instead of just going back and forth between a space station and city. And actually go check out some stuff. I want to have a look at flying like the uh, the Mark II, the F7A Mark II around water and see the water physics in action. Um, I want to see the distribution centers. Um, obviously, we've already seen. Let's just get our VTOLs on so I don't have four going for the round. I still seem to be decelerating. Why am I decelerating? Not decelerating, descending. Um, probably because it's nav mode. Yeah, so it's not even letting me. We don't have cruise control though. I don't know what's happened to cruise control. Okay, there we go. We've, we've actually stopped. Okay. Get out of the seat. Please do the last trip. Very well. Uh, man. Okay, so I've still got... <laughs> I've still got more. I wonder if they've reduced the amount of... Capacity the C2 has. Uh oh. I think I've just hit the ground. Stop moving. Uh. Rain rake's just taken a dive. I mean, so apparently I am flying automatically. Let's go back up to Everest Harbour. I'm guessing either cruise control has been removed or uh, the binding has changed. Keep checking that a bit later. But for now, I just want to get all my stuff up to Everest Harbour so I don't have to worry about atmosphere for a while. Again, we're in go slow mode because the quantum drive is spooling. Definitely going to be like you, you, you're going to be an easy target when you come out of quantum. Mode. Okay, 
Okay, so a couple of barriers now back, which means that I should actually stop and float away. Let's see if I can dump the stuff off here. Well, everybody is uh, seeing enough of me going backwards and forwards from here and would like to actually see some stuff. See something different. Hopefully this will be the last. <laughs> uh, you're a character, Stormy. Getting a few speed holes in there, though. Yeah, like, the... Definitely, I think it'll be a lot different if I've got a better quantum drive that takes less time to spool up. It's just, yeah, right now, it's, it's definitely slowing down the game. I have to wait for the quantum drive to spool up just to go to your max speed. Can I get my stuff? <laughs> uh, that, that's why it's taking so long, I reckon, is because I have so much, um, so many components in my inventory to start with. Still not close enough. Got something like twenty quantum drives and armor shields and weapons and armors and all sorts of stuff. And then, there we go. Okay, now I should be close enough. Okay, move on. Are you kidding me? I still got stuff to do. All paints. These paints take. They must have increased. I reckon they've increased the weight value of paints and stuff. I used to carry a whole lot more than this in a C2 before. Full empty set there. Um, okay, let's try this. Yeah. I am going to make this in one more trip.
<laughs> okay, let's go down to the lower deck. Wonder if this will actually work. So imagery. Uh, won't let me drop that because we're in armistice. Okay, what about paint? Can we got paint? No. Really? It won't even let me drop. Okay, so let me drop the undersuit. Only carable items may be dropped. Okay, so I can't drop that. Can't drop that. Alright, well, that's not going to help. Let's go. Boot. What ribbon is it? Yes. Thanks. That under suit guy. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Got this. Oh, that's different. I have my backpack. Orange backpack. Put the grey back. Mm -hmm. Put the red back. Put the red back. Put the black back. Oh, what's that? Put my black back. back. Oh, Okay, so apparently I'm wearing it. Carry a couple of things. Well, there's my silver backpack. But it's not showing up on the back. Okay. Drop the backpack. Go in. Okay. I am going to try and do some. Do some equippings and some. Helmets. Alright. Not enough room. Apparently that's at 113%. Where is my backpack? Why can't I get to my backpack? Do need more backpacks in the vehicle? Yep, right on. There's my silver one. Rich has disappeared. Oh no. No, my inventory's not working. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, has that now disappeared for good? Not in the vehicle. Not in the local. See if I can find more stuff in the ship that I can drop. Drop it all on the floor. Quick that. Okay. 
Okay, so we've almost got enough room. Uh, uh, any more heavy stuff? Wait, what? What did that all just come back out for? Let me drop things down. Pick all that up later. Mm hmm. Over there. Okay. That I can equip. That I can equip. Oh. That won't fit in there. With anything else? Ah. 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 What do we got? So we got some badges and some repeaters. We're doing fifty-two thousand. I don't actually think I'll be able to pick those up. Zero of zero. So, screw it. That'll be our last trip. Let's go back upstairs. And we'll actually go and do some shit soon. But I think I've lost my Avril backpack. My Avril, uh, what was it? Quicksilver backpack. That's gone. Disappeared. But uh, I can get that back. And last trip back up to Everest Harbour. And then I might grab a smaller ship that we can go and check out and do some exploring with that can go faster and spool quicker and all that sort of crap and actually have a look at some things not just transport my gear from one place to another okay so Everest Harbour where are you there? nope There you are. Alright. Hey Tag, welcome back. Oh, that didn't uh, didn't activate quantum, it swapped me out of master uh, into SCM mode. I gotta wait again. That's gonna be annoying. Mode. Uh, slowly, mate. Slowly. Um, these new master modes with a C2 and its stock quantum drive is very slow. Switching between nav mode and quantum jumping and everything, you've got to wait for the spool timer to spool up before you can go at your max speed. Obviously, you've got to wait for it to spool up before you can quantum jump. Then when you get out of quantum jump, you've got to wait for it to spool up again before you can go up max speed, otherwise you're restricted to your SCM limiter. So we're spooled up, we can now quantum jump. And then 
We're out of quantum, but I could only go 160. So yeah, got to wait for it to spool up before it can go to like 600 or whatever it is. Which is a little bit frustrating at the moment, but if I upgrade the quantum drive, that should hopefully improve that. Yeah, now go faster. Yeah, it's going to be extremely annoying going from OM to OM. You, you're going to be a sitting duck, as um, Stormy was saying before. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Okay. Oh, I love the sound effects, the, the boost and everything is awesome. Now, when you've got your landing gear down, it drops you to a max speed of 30. The landing gear back up again. So if you drop your landing gear down too early, you're going to take forever to get into your hangar. And if you drop it down too late, you might crash. Eh. Like that. That's not how you do it, folks. But... We didn't blow up, so that's... Ah, I, I lost a bit of my wings. My, my tail fins or whatever. And my... Uh-oh. Yeah, I lost a bit more than that then. <laughs> okay, well, there goes all of that crap that was in there. Ah. Ah, interesting. It's tanky, but it still blows up. Alrighty. So, back to Lawville. At least if I go out the right exit at Lawville, I can go straight to the thing that gets me uh, to the, um, what do you call it? Ooh, that's different. The different kind of looking med gown. Yay, I get to keep all the stuff because I was in Armistice to keep everything. Yay. Put that one on. I want the black one on. So, what? Where did that come from? Okay. <laughs> my, my backpack doesn't want to show up for some reason. Um, and apparently I'm now carrying my FS9 on my shoulder. <laughs> I can't even fit. Can I fit? I hardly fit anything in the backpack now. 28. 38, 48, 52, 64. That should all fit in there. Okay, not enough available SU. It's only 85%. Okay, so apparently there's stuff in my backpack that I can't see. Oh. 
backpack's just not working. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's uh, that's what testing's for. Yeah. Oh, I don't need that bike shit. I'll bring that there. All right. Let's get out of here. Which way? This way. But the minimap is really cool. It takes everyone working together to build a healthy and thriving community. Well, it even shows when the doors are open. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hello. Okay, so Metro Center, that's where we want to go. Pick a different ship, obviously, because the. Uh... Okay, <laughs> that guy's sliding around on his belly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at him go! <laughs> ah, I love this sort of shit in PTUs. What the hell are you doing, mate? That is a really cool looking outfit. Wait, hello. You're green. Okay, so that looks like a Pembroke backpack of some sort. I don't think I've ever seen a yellow Pembroke one, huh? And that... Uh, what did he... Where's he got that from? That is cool. I want one. And this guy just looks like he's come out of Halo. Hey, you're in the wrong way. Backpack is still not working. Hey, right don't push me out of the way. Aha, you went the wrong way. Was that the uh, Halo guy or the guy with the Pembroke backpack that you're talking about? Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Hey, okay, let's grab. Let's grab the Mark 1 now, eh? I didn't pay attention to what hangar that was going into. Welcome to the ASOS vehicle retrieval system. Because I didn't retrieve it, I only delivered it. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, the, I, I do quite like the Pembroke backpacks. Um, they have a little extra um, space in them as well, which is good. No. But yeah, I'll get get up to uh, Everest Harbour, set my spawn point up there. I will start actually doing some loadouts in the ships, get some better drives in them, so that hopefully I'm not sitting around twiddling my th thumbs for so long, waiting for uh, master modes to spool up and everything. There's been into pilot seat. Well, that's cool. Don't have to have all those options there. Um, 
And then since I've got the F7, we will. I'm going to go check out some water, check out the water effects and distribution centers. Although I do need a ground vehicle for the distribution centers. So I might grab right the Spartan out somewhere. Take him for a drive. Although I'd have to take him in the C2. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot to open the doors. We uh, land and repair, please. <laughs> okay. That's going to cost a little bit. Two thousand. Ooh, you got a sleepover. Nice. Okay, now that the <laughs> the hangar's actually opening up, we can get out of here. Alright, so let's switch over to the boat. This one's definitely pulling up a bit quicker than what the C2 did. Everest Harbour. Well, uh, I'll be on later again later tonight. Um, what's the time now? Half past three. I wouldn't be surprised if my son wakes up from his nap soon, which will mean that I'd have to get off. Uh, and then once he, or, or once all the kids, I'm still in this year, once all the kids are in bed tonight, be for quite a few hours, right? This one sounds a lot more like a, a jet engine. No real rumbling. Hey, you can always, yeah, rewind the stream and check it out. Okay, let's go. Let's done it again. Instead of spooling, instead of engaging quantum, it's changed me back to this, yeah. Pain in the yard. Catch you later, Tag, mate. Thanks for stopping by again. Enjoy your sleepover. Hopefully it's a lady friend. Alright. Go. Spool. Go. Quantum. No, uh, you're not. Quantum in. Yeah, bye. Oh, okay. Well, we're there. We quantum. Uh, a bit of lag there, obviously. All of a sudden, I was at Everest Harbour. go and pick a different set of gear as I get here. Hopefully have a back. Catch that I might hopefully have a backpack that I can actually see and get properly kitted out and go do some stuff. Like me to go to the 
There. Okay. Yeah, dropping landing gear and slowing down to 30 meters per second should hopefully help with um, landing and not crashing. So people that have a habit of coming in to land too quickly, like myself and uh, a certain other female citizen that I know of that crashes into hangars quite often. Hopefully, we will stop doing that. And where the hell am I? Uh, I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. Okay. Um... the hanger. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to log out to menu because I'm in a space station. I should be able to log back into the space station rather than having to kill myself, which will send me back to Everest Harbour. Yeah, I think if I read this correctly, that they're just uh, SC news that I just got off R. The engineering is in the arena mode, not in arena command, and not in the PU, I think. Check that out later anyway. Hopefully, because I, I have no idea where any of the distribution centers actually are, I'm hoping that in the map I can actually do a search for distribution and find a distribution center. Would be handy. Might just while this is loading back in, I might just go and quickly make a cup of coffee and I shall be right back.
And I'm back. Literally just as I got back, I finished loading in. So that was well timed. Took a while to actually load in, but um, with all the new stuff that's happening, I'm not surprised. So, I am going to go and set my spawn point here before I go anywhere else. And then I'm going to... Oh! Item banks! Um... Really? The item bank just made me fall through the freaking... Oh, well. Let's test out the new EVA, eh? How cool does that look? Now? Or anything? No? Okay. Can we rip a hold of things? Yeah, hands out. Whee! <laughs> that actually does look pretty cool. And then we can sort of... Where's the... Sure. Some of the examples that they showed, like you could turn around and sort of float on your back and look around. Maybe that's only when you've got a gun out, I guess. And because um, I'm in an armistice zone, I can't do that. Now, how far away am I from the pads? I think they're over there. I don't know whether it'd be quicker to log out and log back in again or uh, stay with the uh, EVA in. But let's. Uh, Bearing. Okay, so there's a pad over there. I do kind of like the new Iron Man. Instead of just sort of floating in an upright position, and more like an Iron Man. Now, do I log out and log back in, or can I get... Because that's just a normal hangar, isn't it? Oh, there we go. I just did the flippy thing. So if you're traveling in one direction and then turn around and travel the other way, rather than just continuing to hit... Like, if you let go of so holding down W at the moment to fly forwards, let go of W, turn around, and then press W, and you do your little dolphin kick. Uh, I think that's what they call it in swimming, where you kick the ball and flip around. That's cool. I do, I, I really like this. And it'll be, it'll be good to test out in a soft death ship if it's easier. Spacesuit needs master mode. Screw you, mate. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Am I do I log out and go through the long login process again, or do I EVA over to a pad where I can just walk inside? Just, I'm not sure how far away they are from here. That's a normal hangar over there. Sun in my eyes there, I can't tell. I always just hope that somebody's coming out of one of these hangers and slotting through while they're coming out. I do love it. That, the new EVA, it looks so cool. Lip. 
and beep. Didn't get that time. Uh, I would have thought holding down Z while rolling, you'd just be able to power roll without moving the camera. Anyway, I do like it. And you even sort of kind of arch your back a bit if you're wanting to turn around. Which way is up and which way is down? There we go, no way's down. Let me in! <laughs> I don't think that does that. Um, but what I'm going to do is... I think maybe down there is where the pads are. You wait to test out the new AVA, yeah? yeah. Um, yeah. And push, push. I thought it was supposed to, um, like they're not even touching it. Like, grab a hold of it and walk along it. Different. Definitely different. Okay, let's see if I can get a better look as to where the pads are. I've got a feeling they're over on that little prongy bit, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it looks like a not no, that won't have the pads. They on the inside here. Have to remember. All right, I'm going to log out and try again. I'm going to see if I can go back to that same item bank and see if it does the same thing. And if it does, then I can report that as a bug. I guess. Um, but yeah, it's going to take us a little while to load back in, I guess. Ah, no, I don't want to be a customer carrot. Blah, blah, blah. Customer carrot. Let's get out of there. See you. Wait, what? It wants me to go into the car customizer? No. Current location unknown. You don't know, want to make me create a character from scratch again? Well, let's see if the import works this time. Import. Ah, hang on. Denaris. Import. There she is. Okay, um, review, accept. Okay, I'm stuck at character customizer. Now it's not even going to let me. I can't enter the PU. Okay, I'm going to reload the game, so please bear with me and see if that. Uh, the PTU has gone down or something, maybe.
dropping somebody on the um, forums they're having issues with the with their sticks um, I messaged them earlier and he's told me that he hasn't he's, he's having issues setting pitch in your um, that mine worked all I had to do was set the throttle Ah, uh, fair enough, mate. Yeah, okay. Well, now that I've reloaded, it's uh, let me back in, but it's saying my current location is in Everest Harbour, so I'm wondering whether I am actually back there or if I am... Actually, no, Everest Harbour's good. That's where it was. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see how long it takes to load in this time. Ah, uh, shut up, dog. Wait. Hey, it's just me tapping on the desk. There's nobody at the door. It's just me. Anyways, um... Oh, like, do I want to go in? Um, um yeah, sorry. Do I want to go and test that? Again, and have to go through the whole crap of having to reload again because I fall through the ground but at the same time let them know about a bug or do I just want to get on with it and do stuff? <laughs> I mean, I do want to be helpful, but I also want to, like, show you guys stuff. Um... Up, checking some updates and things. There we go. Alrighty. So let's go to the door. Before I get distracted, I am going to go and set the spawn point. <laughs> I, I don't have a um, Mongolian dog here, um, but we do have uh, 10 chickens out the back. Welcome. Hey. Just use the terminal. Uh, stop telling me to use the terminal, I know how to use it. Evil gear storage. Okay, let's move on. I don't need to do a gear storage because the inventory button is still working. I'll just do that. Um. So, um, 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 where is the medical clinic? In oh, there it is. Use. Use. Come on, use it. I'm pressing F. Okay. Let's try this one. Cannot regenerate. Cannot change regeneration. Attention. As of now, Lab 2 is off limits to all staff until further notice. 
Okay. Um, I will report that back, but I cannot change my regeneration. Okay. Well, I guess I'm stuck with spawning at Lawville if I die again. Um, why did I just zoom in? Hang on. I think it was trying to access the... Yes, it was. Maybe it was just lagging. Okay. This one's working. Transfer imprint. Urgent page for Nurse Radcliffe. Report to emergency. Transfer Nurse imprint, Radcliffe please. Emergency. Some storage room three right now. Security to storage room three. Hey, uh, Death of a Spaceman is not in the game yet. Now, did that work? Let's just double check that first. Current regen, Maria. No, we don't have that. Or transfer, confirm. Okay, so... L2RX. Perfect. So it wasn't buggy, it was just a delay. A bit of lag. Let's get out of here. Let's see if I can get a backpack working. Pull this other crap into storage. Okay, so let's go grab undersuit. Ooh, the red alert ones look different. I think all of these, they all, all the, the, the quality of the thumbnails looks a lot different to what it used to, but they look more crisp, I guess. There's definitely differences. Um... Let's grab the good old black and gold, eh? Uh, let's grab custom helmet. I've got just a few items. There it is. Arms and legs, did they manage to make it across? Yep. Next. Uh, so, then I can grab the gold arc light. And the gold arrowhead. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, I don't need to worry about a backpack for now. I'm just going to go and do some exploring. Um, let's see. We need a med pen and a multi tool. So we'll grab the yellow med pen and the yellow multi tool. Okay, so med pens. Well, I don't need 5,000, 500 will do. Come on. Security, please come to storage room three right now. Thank you. Security to storage room three. And we'll get some refills. Then. Everyone loves. Okay. Sorry. There's somebody on Discord, and now we can go. Now I don't know whether Everest Harbor has a ammo shop, but let's. Okay, there was definitely a bit of a. 
something happening there. No, okay, so I can't access the item bank. But it doesn't really show anything at it. Oh, that's obviously not. Whoa, don't you fall through the ground again. Um, that's obviously not fully implemented. So we need to go to the Galleria. Let's see if we can grab some ammo. know what is actually on Everest Harbour because I don't usually visit this place too much. Yes, we've got quite a few item banks on them, so that's handy for when they fully implement that. We have an armour shop, so this should sell us a bit of ammo. Not quite ammo. Yep, excellent. Let's get it down up into that. And then go ahead. Yeah. Answer those as well. Actually, I left all the med pens in the clinic, so do they sell med pens here? Yay! By ten. Smart Alright, let's uh, equip all that. That I thought will take two. Oh, we'll take three cents. Okay, so. Take two out of it and one arc light. Don't know where the other arc light ammo just went. What's their phone? Ah, okay, so the clinic doesn't have its own um, storage in. Okay. Let's grab one, two, three, four, five of them. Bring them here. I don't know why they put these on the ammo. So those, bring them over. Uh, there's the one there. We need some water. We're going to hit F and uh, cruise locks. The under brinks, channels, nope. Okay, so let us all water there. What else have we got? Nah. Food court should sell water. I don't think any of these places actually have a terminal, do they? Where's the big cruise lunch? Banks up there. Okay, so they've got item banks everywhere. It's good. When they actually do fully implement that, you do want to be able to have a lot of access to it. Have a terminal? Okay. Oh. Out. Ah, this was our water. Nobody wants to sell me any water. Let's go 
Is yours a water level? One and two SUs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know where I'm going to get water from. Yeah. Ready to reset your expectations on the freely to the highest levels. From breathtaking views, incredible dining, and unmatched shopping. Guess I'll have to go somewhere in the food court to get something. in here, so that's cool. Any cruise lux? No. Who's got cruise lux? You've got water. Hi, Hi. welcome. welcome. Okay, cool. So you can just press and hold. You can always use your mobile if you want some more details on what we have in stock. I think you're going to be... A couple of just plain old waters is going to be better than nothing. No cruise lights. Eh, that'll do. Just some plain old water. Okay. Let's go. Let's go find some interesting things. Bring the water over to our entry. An auto stack feature would be handy. Ready to shift okay. uh, is there anything else that I need to take with me? I don't think so. I think that's enough for now. Let's just let's go do stuff. Oh, that's running out. Hangers and haps. Okay. We need to deliver a few things Welcome here first, so I've got to load them out. Retrieval system. So no redeemer. No, no, don't care about that. Carrick, yes, we'll get that here. We'll get the Pisces here as well. FAC. C1, yeah, bring that. Claim the C2. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Uh, did I get the Mark II? Yes, the Mark II is here. And how does it work about just, yeah, get the whole C over here. And what else have we got? Oh, pretty much it. Okay, well, let's get. Um, yep. Let's have a look at our loadout. So, vehicles. Um, let's go with the FHC. Uh, and we will not take. Then we'll use our shockwave library. Um, ah, okay. So they didn't come across with me. All right. That's right. So we don't. All of my inventory that I had when I co copied over to PTU didn't come across with all the. Uh, um, they call it 
Welcome to the ASOS. So I will just have to deal with stock for now. Your vehicle has been delivered to the police. And later on, when I'm not doing a live stream, I'll go and buy a bunch of components so that I can do all that at another time. But for now, I'm going to go and find some water. Go have a look at some water effects with the FXE. It's good being able to just press F now to enter a ship rather than having to wait for the uh, drop down as well. It's very handy. You are clear to launch. Okay, so where is there some water? Yeah, one person that has water. Pretty sure there is. Just never really been. Good. New map really does look good. It's it is a lot easier to read the locations now. Oh, hang on. Where was I just saw something that had like freight elevator something or other. There. Underground facility, hangar, landing pad, vehicle services, freight elevator. Okay, cool. So it actually tells you what they've got. But that I think it says UGF. And but I wonder if that's one of the distribution centers. Stanton one, Hurston UGF three two. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Um, U route. Cool. Okay, so we need. Oh. Yeah, so it's not telling me that it's obstructed. But it's also not letting me quantum to it. How am I supposed to quantum? Don't have any other own markers to jump to. There's routing not available. Oh, wait, hang on, we're quantuming. Yeah, it was just delayed. And oh, we've stopped because I pressed it a couple of times, I guess. All systems offline. Yeah. I think it's the only way to get out of it is by powering it down. There we go. Okay. So, I, maybe because it's like it's on the planet, you don't have, it's one of those ones where you don't have to go around the planet too. You can just go through the planet. Okay. Let's see if that worked. I think it did. There we go. Mm-hmm. 
Of course, it's night time, so not to see much. Right, fun. This is definitely looking like a distribution center and not just a bunker. And wow, it is huge. Wish it was daytime so I could actually see properly. Hey, this looks really cool. So you got your little ramps and roads and stuff for your ground vehicles. We've got landing pads and whatnot. Let's call for a landing pad, shall we? Yep, okay, so we've been given a landing pad over there. Super slow-mo while landing, which is kind of good because you can do some funky landing shit. And I can't see. Um, where's my ship? Uh-oh. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, persistent hangers are still not in yet, um, but invisible hangers are. You can go through them through a ground. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't want to land at this hangar because it's not very solid. Um, so that's a bit of an issue. Um... Yeah. Interesting. That's where it wants me to land, though, but I'm not landing there. So having a look outside, we've got lots of little roadways and stuff, and there's Ursus parked around. I wonder if it'll just let me park down here on the pad. Somebody else is parked down here on the, well, not on the pad, but near the pad. Let's see if this has got solid ground. Yes, it does. Excellent. All right, let's go for a wander. So it's an artist to say. Oh, there's a shulin over there. Can't draw our weapons, naturally. It's a cool different crates and stuff. Oh, a loot box. Man. Did see an F pop up before. Where is it? Or is it just lagging again? Hey. Let's see what's in the loot box.
Can I jump over it? Jump on it. Oh, screw that. Okay, so can we get inside from here? little crane thing. Well, that looks pretty cool. Left. Yep. Ah. Hey, maybe not. Yep. Yeah. Oh, going up. We're stopped. Part of we're stopped. Do you not want to go any further? Can you not go anywhere? Okay, so there must be like an invisible wall or something. We can't go up there. And now I'm stuck on <laughs> Get off the damn ladder. Ah! Yay, I got up. Alright. Let's see if we can find our way in here. So, cargo this way. Mercy down here. More floating boxes. I think there's missions that we can do around here as well, but. Just borrow this off you, mate. Cool. You guys want to come for a ride? The uh... where's the close the door button? To enter. What are you guys doing? What is going on with my camera? I'm stuck. I think I'm kind of half in the seat, half not in the seat. There we go. Now I'm in the seat. Cool. Oh, it works. Close the doors. Let's close doors. I don't know which pop key it is. None of those. Uh. Okay, so I can turn it on, I can steer it. Oh wow, there is so much latency between some of these buttons. Holy hell. I'm sitting at uh, 20, 30 FPS. Three hundred ping, yay for Aussies! Ah, close doors. Oh, that's trying to close the doors. I need to change my key bindings for uh, vehicle movement. Forward. Yep. 
Yeah. Oops. Doing that, geez. Change the oh, no, not that one. Change that one back to W. It'll be that later. So, um, wow. They, just, <laughs> oh, the controls are stupid. Mate, what are you doing? You can't just walk through the front door. Is it so hard to control? Okay, that bear, uh, let's get out of that. That's buggy. Okay, let's go for one day. This is the way I came from, but we're shipping down here. Uh, go oh, warehouse access. That's what I want. Let's go check that out. A lot of crap in the way. This is massive. It's like it's gonna be fun. Like doing proper missions and stuff through here. Okay. So I'm guessing you would come in here with your Ursa, drive in here, park up somewhere. So run out of puff. Okay. Garage door there. Ooh, that looks cool. What are you? Well, look at it. Really, you don't want me to loot it? It's not. Okay. Shall keep going. Open. Open. Okay, there is a lot of lag at the moment. Wow, this place is huge. That looks cool. I haven't seen anywhere yet where you can like buy stuff, I guess, but uh, I'm sure we'll get there sometime. Got some security, which we didn't go through on the way in. Uh, don't think I want to go in there. Okay. Whoa. Massive warehouse. And here comes Bleaket. Hello. You right there walking in front of the camera? Ah, oh, let's go downstairs.
There's a window there. Can't jump through the window. Jump over the edge. Yep. Yeah, so I've got these are those little push around things. Can we can we push one? Yeah. They're not one of ours. Where we came in from. Still not seeing any ah, he's Okay, so there's a there's a door there that I can't see. I think we might have crashed. Have a recovery. This will be my first time getting a, a server recovery. If it if it is, yeah, thirty k. Okay, so it doesn't have the recovery on it. Interesting. I thought they did have that that on here. Double check the um, patch notes. Where are the patch notes? Feedback, 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 feedback. Here we go. No, that's not clear. Patch notes. Ability, master modes, full character customizer, mobile glass, rework, style map, interior map, mini map, EVA2, T2, new loot screen, new visor, lens, full FPS combat, refractor, dynamic crosshair, backpack reloading, ammo respawning, physical shopping UI, new AC features, engineering game, mode growth, royale, new race tracks, new pirate swarm, final wave, custom lobbies. Okay, so... Server info, replication layer enabled, recovery enabled. Okay. Um, it does say up here on the display info, replication layer true. So that should definitely be on. But still got a 30k. Hmm. Just have a look at some of the known issues. So vehicle purchase kiosks, unable to purchase vehicles from kiosks. Um, Post and Crusader Lawville Orson locations, transit Lawville Orson transits are offset from the station doors, causing visual and collision issues. I don't understand why some of those sorts of things break when they make changes. It's not like they changed where the doors were positioned. Uh, shopping art UI locations, weapon display in stores are rotated 90 degrees. <laughs> like, how does that sort of thing happen when you're not even really doing that sort of thing? Unless it's in the... No, it says weapon display in stores, not on the kiosks. 
Boom hacks and career airlocks are missing breathable air and doors. Okay. Lawville female AI females. There are no female social AI present around Lawville. Eh, we don't need women anyway. Um, interactions UI panels become unresponsive after highlighting interactables. I think I've seen that. Unable to interact with the medical insurance terminal to manage regeneration. Uh, that did work. I got that working. Okay, yeah, well, we're back in and we're back at Lawville. Get out of your bed. Come on. Get up. Please. Open. Hurry up. Help, I'm stuck. Oh, there you go. Finally. Um, except that copy. No, I think I just got rid of it. The joys of stability and lagging and all that in PTUs is fun. Welcome. Welcome. I don't know if it's an actual thing, but that, that elevator certainly seems to travel quicker. Didn't notice it taking forever to actually change from the floor I was on back down to the lobby. Oh, let's go. The there. Vehicle retrieval system. Let's grab the map. Vehicle select. Your vehicle, vehicle has been delivered to the full authority. What other issues do we have? UI knickknacks, VLM libraries, libraries are missing volume information in knickknacks. Okay. Inconsistent frame rate stuttering during high concurrency due to database unloading, front end UI location symmetry and primary residence location can be missing from the front end. Yes, we've seen that. Huh. This time, I'm going to find some more. Like 2 a.m. What are you still doing up at 2 a.m.? You crazy. Although I've done that plenty of times. Um, Weeping Cove, there'll be water over there. Yeah. Let's go check out this new water. Really gone. Oh crap, it's quarter to five. My son's been napping for about four hours, I think. Probably was about, probably was about one o'clock when he went down. I think my son's just woken up, so let's get down to grab the water and have a look at the water quickly. 
Where is it? Wavy Cove. Where, where the hell is Wavy Cove? There it is. Now, one thing I'm still not able to see anywhere is the altimeter. Um, I wonder if that's intentional. I would like to know, especially in the dark, how high I am away from the ground. The, the water from this height definitely looks different. Certainly looks a bit more realistic. Set the camera. Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck it out. Um, I don't know what happened then. All of a sudden, I was in my ship, and then I was out of my ship. <laughs> Yay! Ah, uh, this game's fun. It's really tinny, is it? Okay, let's try... Is that any better? I have been um, changing the settings around, trying to get... Because um, sometimes if I'm talking directly at the mic and then talking over here when I'm looking at the chat or something, it... Uh, it's hard to hear me, so I did make a bit of a change there. So is that sounding any better? It should definitely be using this mic. Actually, hang on, let me double check that in here. Okay, yeah, definitely using the right mic. But is is that sounding better? I just made a change on the um, microphone itself. A wee bit. Okay, I've got a couple of different settings here. Yeah. Let's try that. How's that sound? Welcome, welcome to the Welcome to the ASI Let's get uh, the Hornet claims. Your insurance claim has been, has been sent. sent. Thank you. It's a three minute wait. It could also be that it's further away from me. I've been trying to have it sort of off to the side a bit. Yeah, let's try. Come on. There's four different options. It's like got bi directional and all sorts of different things. This one's the best? Alright, cool. Um, what else have we got? I need to. Oh, I can take the F8C. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following Apparently, place. that came back with me from the distribution center. 
after the 30k. So that's cool. Come on, elevator. Ah, cool. It's not a distance, distance issue. I called the elevator your stupid thing. Come on, let me in. Yeah. How's that? All right, let's try a different elevator because that one doesn't want to come for me. Or are we getting another? As in loud. Try that. Shouldn't be a 30k. Come to me, elevator. What the hell? None of the elevator. Oh, hang on. I think I heard it. Nope. I need an elevator. Oh, okay. Whoops. I actually, I know what I did too. I also turned it up on OBS, so that might be better too. Now it's way out of, out of the screen. Let's try. How's that? Come elevator. Thank you. Stupid elevator. Hangar three. Is that sounding better now, Pluck? Okay, so this one, this one sounds the best, does it? Okay, servers are definitely shitting themselves because I can't get to my hangar. Oh, there we go, hangar three, yay. Uh, uh, no, damn it. Let me out. Finally. Never had so much trouble getting to my hangar before. That's not loud enough. Okay, let's go uh, halfway in between where it was before. Alright. Where's the damn F? There it is. All right. You are clear to launch. Okay, so I'm going to go for a naked flight. Is the in-game sound too loud as well? Is it? Or the game sound is not loud enough? Uh, no second, still not in yet. Persistent and uh, instant hangers both are not in. Alrighty, go okay, fifteen percent more. Whatever I just did. Okay, so let's add that. How's that? Oh no, that might be a bit loud. Uh, game sound can probably come up from in here. Bring that up a tad. Alright. Now, Weeping Cove, where are you? Point. Unknown. Weeping Cove, there we go. So hopefully this time I don't fall out of the ship or whatever the hell that was and we can actually see a bit more of the water this time.
Sounds much better overall. Nice. Yes, uh, distribution centers are in. Um, oh, wait, hang on. DLSS is in. Ah. Whereabouts is that? Is that uh, an option in the game or the um, NVIDIA control panel? Seen anything on the? Hang on, why is my why is my water down? To, oh, that's right, because I logged down. Drop down should say upscaling. Um, oh yeah, upscaling technique. DLSS. Thank you. Let's try that. Okay. Ah, right, yeah. Can't, can't be blocking the game, game glass logo. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, the new master modes, if anyone hasn't seen those or played with the master modes, they are... Oh, I have Ultimator now. Yay. Um, I didn't have that on before. Um, yeah, the new master modes are a bit of a pain in the ass at points, because if you're in the nav mode, which I am at the moment, and you quantum jump, you've got to wait for your quantum to spool again before you can get your max speed up on your ship. Uh, so you're restricted to your SCM speed. Alright, let's see if we can get this to not kick me out of the ship again. I want to see what the water looks like. Okay, that just looks like smoke. I don't want to get too close to it because I don't know if that if it was that I got too close to the water and that's why it um, pulled me out of it before, but. Yeah, it just kind of looks like smoke at the moment. Did I have, did I turn it back up properly? Scaling technique. Water is, water seem off, very low, high. So there's no. It's just gone, not responding. Oh, no, there we go. Ah, there is a very high. Aha. Like that. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. I will check that out. Because I'm currently running at 4K. Is that going to still be the same sort of concept with that? Ah, oh, here we go. Ultra above all modes. Yeah. Actually, no. I want quality. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's give that a go. Although, like, off on... Ah, right. Fair enough. We got water. Eh, we'll get quality. We'll see how that goes for now. 
Back to Everest Harbour again. Now I'll give this one more go and have a look at the water because um, then I'm going to have to go and pick up my daughter from daycare regardless of whether my son actually wakes up. Ah, uh, sorry, not from daycare, from school holiday programmy care stuff uh, and my younger son from daycare as well. Um, but I would imagine I'd be back on probably in about another three hours or so after I get off. So... Um, Everybody's obviously welcome to join back in again later and check it out if you don't have access yourself. Um, don't forget to check out my Discord server if you want to jump over there. I've currently got a poll going at the moment for the next giveaway. Uh, so that's going for about a week, the poll. There's a couple of options there. So for the next giveaway, it could be either a ship package to the value of $100, a couple of paints or a couple of sets of gear or um, a CCU upgrade token to the value of $100 uh, as a maximum. So a couple of different options there, not just ship. So if, if there's a CCU that um, is currently available in the um, pledge store uh, and you're after a particular uh, uh, CCU from ship A to ship B, then that could be an option that can be the next giveaway. So I'm taking a poll from the community. So if you want to head over to the Discord server there and have your say in what you would like to see as the next giveaway, then yeah, you've got that option. Um, so yeah, I can't tell you what the next giveaway is because the poll is, is there and, and waiting for you guys to tell me what you want. Um, what else have we got going on at the moment? Ah, obviously, please. Um, what am I doing going there? I don't need to go in there. Um, if, if you like my content, please please subscribe. Um, like the videos, comment on the videos, share them around. Um, I have monthly giveaways and then some random giveaways that will pop up here and there as well. Welcome to the ASOS Vehicle Retrieval System. Don't blame me for breaking the server. Um... Yeah, so I don't have a cursor. Why don't I have a cursor? Time to log off. Shut up, Google. Where is my cursor, please? So apparently, the LSS also removes my cursor. Okay. I have no mouse cursor. So I don't know where Welcome I'm clicking. Welcome to the ASOS Vehicle Retrieval System. Um, this could be fun. Alright, uh, mouse cursor. No mouse cursor. Welcome, Inventory. Goodbye. No mouse cursor. Where is my mouse cursor? Well, obviously it's over the medical gown at the moment. Um, I don't want to look at. I want to look at my face. The character customizer. I look like I got black eyes. I've been. Someone bash me up. Anyway, um, let's see if I can work out how to get my Welcome mark to, to the out without having a cursor. Assistance. So that's obviously there. Oh, yep. There we go. Retrieve. Your vehicle has been delivered yeah. to the following location. Please visit us again. Get me out of that. All right, hang a uh, call. Hey, it's working. <laughs> uh, down, down, down. Hangar 3. Aha, look at that. Who needs a cursor? Yeah, so please, um, do like and subscribe if you uh, like what you see. I know, yeah, there's been a lot of stuffing around today and mucking around with the uh, server issues, but um, it's not always like this. I want to... Maybe tonight, have a look at seeing if the distribution center um, missions are around and see what happens with those. Go check those out. That was loud. Uh, I also want to see if I can find some of the animals. Check those out. All right. 
Alrighty. Where are you, Weeping Cove? I want to go back and see the water again. probably jump over into Arena Commander at some point, have a look at the engineering things. Um, definitely when the persistent hangers come out and the personal hangers. Um, I'm hoping they do still come out and the freight elevators and all that. Hopefully they don't miss out on 3.23 because uh, that's one of the biggest features that I'm looking forward to. And we are going slow. What the hell? Why are we turning that way? Thank you. And check out the water. Alright, so the altimeter is gone again. altimeter in SCM mode. Let's see if it pops back up when we spool. No, altimeter has disappeared again. not knowing how far up you are. Especially in the dark. as to where the ground is. Now, let's make sure we are at level. Down a bit. Back. Back out the camera. So it still kind of doesn't look that great, really. Um, let's go down. Just trying to make the camera look underneath it a bit. That looks pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah, we're seeing some waves. That did look kind of cool. Wish it was daytime. <laughs> ah, dear. Okay, for a brief moment there, I saw some pretty cool wave effects. But I think I was just going too fast. The wave effects were behind me. Um, I think i got time for one more go. I wonder if it 
Ah, a bigger ship might look pretty cool. Let's grab the caterpillar out. See what that looks like. Ah, okay, so I guess it put me as a. I died. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I am pressing F. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. Alright. Go grab the caterpillar out and have one more go to see what water looks like. Uh, what? Apparently I just suffocated for a bit there. Okay. Still have no mouse. Welcome, welcome to the ASOS vehicle retrieval system. Alrighty, break. Please visit us again. Fire caterpillar. Retrieve. Your vehicle has been delivered. Please visit us again. Cool. Elevator worked nice and quickly then. Um, what hangar? Twelve. Yeah. This is my favorite ship. Paid a lot of money for it too. This one is an LTI Pirate Caterpillar. Yay! This way. It certainly seems to be running nice and smoothly running through there. Yeah. Survey FPS is ten, it's better than what it has been, I guess. Looks more of a camo green now than a black. Alrighty, Law Bill, here I come. Not Law Bill. Thank you, and please visit again. We've been curved, where are you? Nation, repel. Point. Oh, there it is. That. Well, I've got an altimeter back again, so that's some. But where is why is my quantum not spooling?
And the, the engines barely look like they're even lit. Slow down a bit so I don't go smashing into the. Uh... Okay, there we go. And now my limiter is not changing. Okay. See if we can see some better water effects this time without crashing. How level are we? Not very level at all. Wait, what? This isn't water. Where's the water gone? very red then. So for some reason my quantum drive is not actually spooling up properly. Um, okay. Let's just land. We'll shut it down and turn it back on again. Okay, that shouldn't still be on. Yeah, so definitely something weird going on with my UI there for quantum drive and everything. Get out and get back in again. Switch over to nav mode. Yeah. I cannot quantum drive in this thing now. So I can't find where Weeping Cove is if I can't quantum drive. And <laughs> got no mouse. Okay. Alright. Quantum drive is working again. So Wow, that's weird the way it does that. Uh, anyway, let's find where Weeping Cove is, because that's where the water is. SCM's working down properly. Oh, 
it feels like I'm going very slow. Alright, there's some water. Finally found it. See if we can fix up this camera. Get a good camera shot. Not quite a fair way out from this one. There we go. Let's try that. I suppose the good thing about this ship not going very fast is that I should be able to hopefully not crash because I'm going as fast. Oh, there we go. We're definitely getting some water movement now. Oh, that looks cool. That is awesome. Whoop. My camera's going underwater. Okay, let's try and uh, make the camera a little bit higher. And... Yeah, that looks cool. Some boost. A bit too high, I think. Camera up above. Don't go in the water, you idiot. Camera out of the water. Wave effects are pretty cool. No, 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 get out. Oof. Okay, let's reset the camera angle because that's that's hard to control like that. Um, let's go. Let's just wind it out a bit. No. <laughs> uh, dear. Well, I'm going to have to call it there because I have to go and pick up the kids from daycare and whatnot. Um, I will be back in a few hours' time after dinner and the kids are in bed. Um, so please, if you haven't already, uh, smash that subscribe button and like button if you do like it. Uh, jump over to Discord, have your say in what you'd like to see for the next giveaway, whether it's a ship, a game package, uh, paint packs gear packs, a CCU upgrade. Um, there's a few different things there that you can pick between. So I'm leaving it up to you as to whatever uh, you guys want the most uh, will be the... Ah, yeah, just in time, Tommy. Yeah, whatever you guys want the most, that's what I'm going to give away for the next giveaway, which will come shortly after the poll ends. So if you want to have your say and a chance at that giveaway, jump over on the Discord, have a vote on the poll, and then keep an eye out for the giveaway video. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll be back again uh, later tonight. So, thunder out. Thank you.